I know you've been watching the Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Here's the mama. The mama's mama. with us today. Beverly Garland is mama, but I think you remember her most probably from My Three Sons. Yes, My Three Sons. You know, it's I interesting because when you say mama, you know, I think to myself, the first series I ever did was called Mama Rosa, and I played a young girl in that series. And it was for ABC. Uh, excuse me about That's that. Right. That's okay. I got $9.25 a half hour. That's how this much is network. I, this is network. This was before unions. Gee, um, that's more than we're paid now. I realize <laughs> that. I thought you'd be interested in that. And uh, so then, so starting from a little girl, and then uh, doing my three sons and being a mama, and now I'm a grandmama. And if the show goes long enough, I mean, I hope to stay in this business and be a great grandma. You look like a great grandma. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We don't have to go into that. You look terrific. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Of you because she was on live television back in the. 50s. Uh -huh. She had her own television yes, show right. called Decoy. Decoy right. So I'm a New York police woman. And th th those, everything was live, right? Yeah, everything was live. Okay, that was the golden era yeah, of television. Yeah. Why do they call it the golden era of television? When everything went wrong when it was live, you couldn't go back and doctor it up. I guess the golden era because it was such an exciting time. You know, I mean, there were there were writers that were very fascinated in television. It was a new medium, and and uh, we did you know crazy things. We did a Lux video. We did a Playhouse ninety, and we did live. And it was it was just a whole new world and uh, exciting world. And a lot a lot of people put us down. I mean, you know, I, I really came from television. I call myself kind of a television baby because uh, television is really where I kind of shine. Although I've done a lot of movies, but they're all bees, and you probably never saw Kurusu, Beast of the that Amazon. That was a C. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, I think it was a C. <laughs> and so I guess, I guess, uh, you know, the golden era, because it was a fascinating time and a new time for all of us. Uh -huh. Well, if you got $9.25 for being on the network, when you start started in professional summer stock. Do you remember what you got paid for that? I don't think I got paid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was for free. Oh. <laughs> that was just to get my car, oh. my equity card. I mean, you worked for nothing. You know? <laughs> well, we've all had odd jobs on our way up the ladder of oh, success. Yes, yes. I'll tell you about my odd job if you tell me about your odd job. Well, my odd job was the dead letter office at the at Forest Lawn. <laughs> and uh, I worked there for a long time, and I would have to go to the mail room and pick up the bodies and, and bring them back. And the bodies, when I say that, you see, people would send people send their bodies through the mail to Forest Lawn, and then we uh, intern them there. Uh, they, Are you serious? Well, I am serious, but they're little. I mean, that's when you're cremated. Let's say you're cremated in, in Oshkosh, and you want to be buried in Forest Lawn. So we pick up your ashes, and we take them to Forest Lawn. I was fired from there because I drove a hearse by mistake, and that was the last day I worked. Why, d why couldn't you drive the hearse? Well, I was not supposed to drive the hearse. They told me to drive the car that was in 1A, and they made it very clear that I was to do that. So the one day that I went to pick up my mail at the post office, there was this large car, and they said, and it was 1A, and he had said to me, don't ever take any car but the car that is in 1A. And I went, well, okay. So away I went, and so I got to the post office, and there was a phone call, and they said, is the mail girl there and I said yes that's me I'm here naturally I must be here otherwise you wouldn't have gotten <laughs> me right um, and he said uh, I gotta tell you something you have the body so would you please get back here and I did I had the body and the casket and I didn't know it and I didn't work there after that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I got fired from the job I had that was very odd. you remember the Ham's beer signs? Yeah. They were in the bars, which had the little bear come out and then there was a little picket fence and it had vines going through. Uh -huh. I put the vines you there. You didn't. You I did. didn't. I did. I it's mom. Sick. Between you and I, we could write a book. Oh, three days. <laughs> and they, they said, don't work here anymore. Because <laughs> it was on an assembly line, and I kept talking. Uh, and they'd say, don't talk, That's because I'd get the other women involved in a conversation, and then these little trellises were going through <laughs> without their vines on them. <laughs> I love it. Oh, love well. It. Listen, she's married to a person. You've got to get this name. Wonderful name. It's a it? wonderful name. His, her husband's name is Fillmore Crank. No. No, no, no. No, did you divorce Fillmore him? Fillmore Pajot Crank. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, you missed the did, whole middle do name. Do you go by Beverly Crank ever? Yeah, I do. Beverly Crank. Beverly Crank. Mm -hmm. do you, what mm -hmm. do you call him? Do you call him Phil? I call him Fillmore. I love the name Fillmore. Fillmore. Isn't it wonderful? Fillmore. Oh, I mean, you couldn't call him Phil. I mean, with a name like that, you have to say Fillmore. <laughs> Fillmore, <laughs> Fillmore, you know. Uh, but I did uh, name my little girl Carrington. 
because very difficult. Carrington, yeah, Carring no, Carrington, <laughs> Carrington Kendall Crank. Crank. Isn't that a pretty name, Carrington? Carrington. Yes, yes. Very yes. difficult to get a name yes. to go with Crank. You know, Crank. <laughs> you know, I almost didn't marry him because his name was Crank, but he was very tall, and very handsome, very sweet, very nice. We married him 25 years. Oh, it's Something all right, nice then. about him. I mean, you have to be nice to carry a name <laughs> like that. And everybody says, "Isn't it wonderful? Is he French? He has that wonderful Pajot." Yeah. I said, "No, uh, Pajot comes from." A man that was a tombstone builder. I mean, it you're into you funerals, know, and you know, yeah, really I'm into, sure. yeah, not death, but funerals. You know, yeah. there's no death, only funerals. <laughs> okay. I just want one thing more. Right. Are you a patient person when you have to stand around on the set? Here's the scarecrow and Mrs. King doing their thing, and, uh, and there I am waiting, there, waiting to get into the what kitchen. What do you do when you stand there? When you have to stand? There? I don't stand. Oh, I never stand. You sit. Oh no, no, I sit, yes. but I do needlepoint. Ah. I, I mean, I'm very busy. I never, I can, I cannot just sit. I'm, I'm just not a sitter. No, but I. I can do something with my hands. If I do something yeah. with my hands, I'm all right. Yeah, well, uh, you have a lot of energy. Yes, I a lot tell. of energy. And you look uh, terrific. Aren't you wonderful to say well, that? Well, no, she even I said that. That's the second time she said that. She must truth. really believe that. I speak the <laughs> I truth. I love it. We watch you on My Three Sons, and of course, we'll continue to watch you on Scarecrow and Mrs. Mrs. King. King. It's doing well. It, really it is. is. It's 14th, well. and the ratings, we're very pleased about it. I'm very excited. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so Mama. much. <laughs> yeah, Mama. Mama Bear. Beverly Garland is her name. Please stay tuned. 10-11 Morning continues.